helping and impacting a lot of people we'll see you every tuesday on the well metaverse podcast peace i don't know why i chuck deuces <laughs> like i don't i don't chuck deuces what was that <laughs> <laughs> yeah here we are look at Chase, it and good to see you good to see you and look everybody we've got a flower amongst the two thorns today <laughs> <laughs> we should, we should, is it is it possible to rearrange these no i, I it's and beyond it's me yeah. i think so take me off and then add her again okay I mean, let's see take, let's see if we can me. no uh, nope. nothing nope. nothing <laughs> man lolly d it's good to see you you too good to see both of you yeah Hi. where's your hat i know right i need a hat I know. That's funny. Put it on yeah. too. It's gonna do it. But. So everybody who don't know who Lolly D is, she is a producer, a host, um, just a great friend, human being outside the metaverse and inside the metaverse. And typically in the metaverse, she always has her, her avatar always has an amazing head on. She's always <laughs> just so loving, always greeting people, and uh, she's with us today. Taking on a new role live. Indeed. Yeah, taking on a new role. Uh, so Jason and I are pleased to announce that Miss Lolly D has joined our, our well metaverse team. She is officially our producer. Yay! Let's go. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Well, boom, boom, boom. Can you chuck deuces, Lolly? <laughs> hey! oh let's go she's all from right. california yeah, she all is. right all right yeah so, so uh yeah lolly is going to be joining us she's going to be behind the scenes a lot of the time uh really helping keep jason and i uh on track uh, which uh we can certainly benefit uh from that uh yakety yak stay on track <laughs> I, just did. I just took us off track by staying on track. <laughs> oh, the show goes over 20 minutes. That's not necessarily a bad sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. 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 Speaking of uh of our show, let's say hello to some people. Alma Jean, uh, she was here early. Hey, I'm not Alma. Late. <laughs> What's happening? Sturminator, let's go. How's your day been? Uh, we're enjoying the new updates on the soapstone. Uh, we, I, if I were a bet man, I'd bet we're going to be talking a little bit about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kimberly Ann, uh, she says, Hello, lovely people. And Sturminator is very happy to see Lolly. Oh, about the hat, uh, Sturminator says she's saving it for her show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wanda so says, "Wow!" Or maybe I'm reading that upside down, and she's saying, "Mom." Mom no, I think I think it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Wanda also congrats Lolly for the for the role. Sturm says, "Yay!" Kimberly Ann, "Yay!" Congrats. Robert says, "Yay!" Or, "Hey, Lolly!" <laughs> All right, oh, good stuff. All right, Lolly, um, we know what you're doing, and we're gonna send you back to the producer booth. You ready? I'm ready. Here I was going to say what Lolly's name spelled upside down in Greek. Oh, yeah. We don't we so, don't want to go there. We don't know what that means. Let's not do yeah, that. Upside, yeah. Glow gay. That's what it, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't, I can get it sideways, but not upside yeah. down. <laughs> the Y would be. Yeah, we don't need know, that. Yeah, gamma. <laughs> right. Yeah, lambda, lambda, omega, lambda. All right, you guys, get on with your show now. Let's go. All right, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Jason. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What's up, bro? How man, you doing, oh, man? man? Dude, I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm doing I'm doing really good. Um this uh you know the this anytime there's a transition, 
Uh, it's always interesting. And of course, we're uh, transitioning off of the dry bar series of shows back to the, um, you know, the, the soapstone proper, or the, the core soapstone uh, stuff. And, uh, you know, the dry bar was a big deal. Man, it was a great series of shows, open up opportunities that we were able to, to pay the team to, yeah. to help out. I mean, it really, really was a great thing. And it's a little scary coming off of that to say, okay, what's next? Well, um, before we talk about what's next, I just, I would really like if we slow down just for a moment and talked about what was before. Because... Yeah, we just, man, I remember when we started talking about what potentially could be, like what's the next level of the soapstone? What would it be like for us to get some, you know, some comedians who are in the public space on large platforms to be able to come? And we just talk, we, we were just kind of, you know, brainstorming what that would look like. And then what, a few months later, this opportunity presented itself to be on to uh, to partner with Drybar and Meta. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good place to start. Is what yeah. was it before? Because it was good before. Yeah. Like it was like the dynamics, the heart of the soapstone. You know that didn't change throughout mm. this uh, this thing. You know Certainly that right. it's always been about encouraging people towards the spotlight. It's been about this incredible community of people coming together to support each other and and that and and that that held true and actually made us shine during the dry bar thing mm, that, yeah i mean it, like i i heard multiple times from multiple people how impressed they were that like watching our team work watching right. the the moderators come in and and do their thing and and um act with tact and grace it was it was really cool yeah yeah. So good, brother. So hopefully none of that changes. We we can change the aesthetics. We can change the layout. We can change the focus on on what shows we're putting our energies and efforts behind. But the heart, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's here to stay. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's you know it's you had this. The, well, let's just say the heart is what keeps the body going and the brain, of course. But that's what keeps the blood flowing is the heart. And so regardless of what happens, that blood has to consistently keep flowing. It has to stay warm. And, uh, man, just the culture that exists. And it's, uh, man, it's you look at what happens even when you're outside the soapstone. It's... What we're seeing now is all the people who are, you know, the faithful folks who show up trying to find ways to connect outside of outside of the metaverse. So it's like you, because it's so genuine and authentic and real to life, then it that translates over to real life. Yeah. Uh, You know, and I've, I've heard I've heard people talk about, you know, the metaverse, the Oculus. And, you know, when it first really started gaining the momentum, it was like, man, there's no substitute for real relationships. Like, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you have, <laughs> but you have real relationships in the metaverse. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so, and, and what's neat is, like, it's not like, as leadership of the soapstone, we're creating these and, and orchestrating them. Like, so there is, uh, um, somehow I got, uh, added into like one of the core groups of people that have just, uh, become friends and, and had their own chat group. I got added into that chat group. So like, like I've been able to see like the, the depth and the dynamics of these relationships, it might start in the soapstone, but it goes so much deeper and, and further than that. And yeah. again, it's not something that we have to orchestrate and script and say, okay, w- this is totally structured. You go from this to this, to this, you know, it's, it's just kind of happening, which is, which is cool. So you didn't plan out all this stuff. You didn't write all this stuff down. Like yeah. this. <laughs> the outline is amazing, brother. Wow. I, I'll tell you what, 
Um, had I sat down and planned it all out, it wouldn't have been nearly as grand as it is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. So, so dry bar, huge success, huge. I mean, even exposing more comedians and more people to the metaverse. And so now coming out of that, it's what, what I've learned when I really started growing in comedy and having business conversations and marketing conversations. Uh, one thing that, that I learned is you always got to know and be ready for what's next. So whenever you, something big happens, whenever you have this opportunity, uh, it's what's next, what you got coming up next. And typically you mm -hmm. see, once I learned that, I started paying attention. When you see television interviews, they always ask people, so what you got coming next? Mm -hmm. What's going on mm -hmm. next? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, what, what was cool is I saw what was coming next before everyone knew <laughs> what was coming, what was coming next. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. On both, on both leading up to the dry bar and coming out of it, you know, and yeah. what's next, 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 you know, I mean, there's, there's lots of stuff in the works. There's lots of stuff going to be continuing to happen in the soapstone, but I'll tell you what I, um, part of the motivation behind making the complete and total world redo at the time that we did is I didn't want people to come into the soapstone one day and see these giant dry bar signs and and this show is happening on Thursday and then the next day come in and have it just be gone you know yeah. because then it's a loss of something and mm. you know so that was the the timing of okay when do we relaunch this you know the timing was to say hey you know what we're losing something that's very important and very good um, but we're also stepping into and gaining all this other incredible stuff. So. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. It's, uh, one, I'm always amazed, my friend, mm -hmm. seeing that NBA just take <laughs> flesh. <laughs> it's cause you know, hearing you saying you don't want them to walk in and see, you know, see that now dry bar stuff stripped away. Cause there's a loss of something. It reminds yeah. me of part of the, communication system with chick-fil-a of course their their customer service is bar none uh it's yeah how how do you top chick-fil-a's customer service in in the fast food industry so yeah. man one of the ladies told me this so of course i was on a little date with my wife and terry said uh we, we talked to the lady and the lady said, can I take your tray? Hmm. And we're like, yes, of course. And Terry looked at her and said, yeah, you got the, yeah, yeah, you finished with, yeah, here's some more trash. And she said, we're not allowed to say trash. Oh, really? Because the word trash, what do you think about when I say trash? Yeah, I, everybody. I, there's can, negative connotations. Yeah, in the, there's in the negative chat. connotation. Yeah, in yeah. the chat. What do y'all think about when I say trash? What do you think about? What comes to mind? Dirty, smelly, and so what they want to do is disassociate everything about that from from your mind. So they don't use those negative words: garbage, trash. It's may I take your tray, or are you done with this? Wow. To keep that positive experience. So when you, you know, said that, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, go on, go on. It's, no, so so when you right. said you don't want when when they come into the world, you don't feel like something's been taken away because that's a, yeah. there's negative connotations to it. That's just that's just amazing to me, bro. Yeah, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense, and and really, it's just it's focus on the experience, you know, and yeah. and. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. I know um, they're uh, for Chick Fil A. Their vice president of uh, incredible leadership, or I, I forget exactly what his title is, but it, he's a big deal. Like he's in charge of the culture and the leadership at, at mm. Chick Fil A. I know he's going to be um, at Killer B Studios actually Thursday of this week, um, oh, talking man. about leadership and and stuff. So yeah, he just published a book and. All that. And I know, I know Chick-fil-A has, uh, like they're a polarizing entity 
you know, cause, cause they're, um, you know, there's some people that, that vehemently disagree with, uh, with some of the stuff. And there's some people that, that wholeheartedly support, uh, what they do, but anybody who looks at their, uh, performance has to be impressed. Yeah. Like, like, um, there's, they've been able to achieve things, uh, that are just incredible across the board. Mm. And, um, uh, and it's things like that, that you're talking about their, their willingness to put themselves into the mindset of the customer and try to make it as, as, uh, good of an experience as possible. Yeah. Um, and then I, I noticed something when I went to Chick-fil-A a little while ago, um, uh, and, Lolly, our producer, is like, how how am I supposed to keep these guys on track? They start talking about one thing, and then they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. welcome to the magic show, yeah, Lolly. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but she uh, or um, I went through the drive through, and I noticed that uh, it it had changed up. And I asked mm. somebody that was going through the or that was there. I was like, oh, this is different than the way that you did it last time, and. And, and this is a this is a, a a young girl out there um, taking orders. She said she said yeah we're trying it this way. Uh, you know they asked us what we would do differently, and um, a couple of us came up with the idea of doing this. And I'm like that right there. Yeah. Like this isn't a, something that's being handed down from efficiency studies to say right. this is exactly how we do it. This is from the ground up. You've got people uh, you know working the drive through and they're saying, how do you think we should do this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's man, the best people to, to come up with all with, with strategy and some, some new inventions are those who really are in, intimately acquainted with the struggle or with the problem. <laughs> absolutely. Yep. 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 Where are the pain points? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, actually, you know, we've been doing that a lot in the soapstone too, because, you know, we make this big, bold change and then we listen, you know, mm. and it's not like we um, will implement every change anybody recommends because the fact is there's a lot of things that we've thought about and implemented and made uh, concessions on and, and optimized and, you know, all those things. Uh, but some of them, like, for instance, the fire pit is the big one that comes to mind. Yeah. You know, a lot of people came in and they're like, man, I miss that fire pit. Like it was so comfortable and just, yeah. and, and I'm like, you know, they're like, it needs to be a pit. And we had it as kind of a deck. And, right. and I'm thinking, you know, it really doesn't make a difference. It's the same. Oh, uh, I was wrong <laughs> because uh, <laughs> people told me it was not the same. And, uh, and we did that, you know, so I actually look, uh, Wanda says, thanks for leaving the fire pit on the soapstone. You can change anything, but leave that fire pit. <laughs> you know? wow. And then, you know, Wanda also says, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, um, so true. Yeah. So so that was that was one thing that we changed. Now, other things like we went, um, you know, we mixed it up big time. We We have three tiers of seating now versus yeah. a flat floor. And... S yeah, go go. Yeah, I, I, so I've been so. What's the feedback? How has how has it been for people? Uh, so it's been mixed. Typically, when people first come in, they're like, "Oh, I I want it the old way." Yeah. But when somebody performs on stage, yeah, Car uh, Carl or Mayhem says a mixed bag of feedback. It, it has been, you know. But when people perform on stage and there's people in there. Um, it's a, it's a much better feel. Like, nice. I mean, it can be more intimidating because those eyeballs that are staring at you, there's more of them and they're closer to right. you. So it can feel more intimidating, but when people are laughing with you or when you're performing and people are cheering you on, you know, if you're singing, you know, that, that feel of being on stage is, is better. Sounds like it's time for a Jason Earl show at the Soapstone to it me. It does. It does sound like that. <laughs> for sure. For sure. We got yeah, we got brother. Thursday nights open. Uh <laughs> Thursday nights. Right this minute. <laughs> man, it's uh man, this is just a busy it's spring break in my household. Yeah. And I've got, you know, so instead of so I have an event Friday evening. 
and instead of flying out of town to make a quick, you know, it's a five hour, five hour drive, maybe a one, two hour flight, uh, hour and a half flight. But since it's spring break, I was like, you know what? I asked my kids if they wanted to go with me. And of course the kids was like, absolutely, we want to go on this trip with you. That's great. so so I gotta dress so now to make sound check Friday at five o'clock. I gotta either leave Thursday or leave Friday morning. So gotcha. So yeah. actually on that, uh <laughs> um Lolly, who's backstage uh, producing. Lolly, I'm going to ask a favor to, of you uh, uh, about uh, about Friday. Here, well, let's bring her out on the stream. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, Lolly. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's at the coffee bar. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. So uh, Jason and I are just talking Friday, this upcoming show on Friday. Um, uh, he's going to be traveling, and I'm actually going to be at a Laugh Fest Laughter RX uh, Symposium, where uh, a friend of mine, Jason Dibble, who is a PhD in communication, oh. uh, and uh, um, and uh, and then another medical professional are going to be talking about the health benefits of of laughter and all that. So I'm going to be there. Jason's going to be traveling. Oh, and and Cal is uh, just just coming in here too you know what cal uh i'm gonna ask both both you and Lolly <laughs> on the spot friday at 11 a.m can you guys can we tag you in to run the well metaverse show on friday sure. yeah Yay, all right you guys. <laughs> Yay. uh cal Thank says you. bye <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're not getting out of it, Cal. I'll yeah, oh, yeah. You down. <laughs> yeah. We have good morning, uh -oh. so good morning, soapstone. We don't need him, Jason. Well, metaverse, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who needs him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Here he comes back. Uh -oh, wow, I feel oh. like I feel like Cal just uh, bumped me. We did. We tried to yeah. disconnect you. We worked it. We worked it. Out. Now yeah. we know that Big Brother lives in the UK. That's right. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. All right. All right. <laughs> Very cool. And Sturm will be in the booth. Boo okay. Booth. I read this comment at the same time. Poof, be gone. And I said, boof. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's, that's super cool. I appreciate you guys. It, it is really nice that we've got such a deep bench uh, with the soapstone, with the shows that we got going on. It's so cool. So thank Indeed. you, thank you, Cal, and th thank you, Lally. All it's right. a village, man. It's it's it, it's super amazing. <laughs> it's super it amazing is. how how the how the soapstone village is. The tribe. Yep, it takes a village. All right, Lally, yeah. we're All right. Send, sending you back to do your job. <laughs> 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 That's great, man. I'm so excited to have Lally uh, joining as a. As a producer, as we get into this, I, I know her commentary back and forth is going to be great. Um, and I feel like we'll need to get it to where she can pop in as she wants uh, and and all that. Indeed. So, I, I feel like I got, I got a new setup, a different setup today. So my my camera and my my computer is about, I guess, three feet in front of me. Okay. So I can't read comments. I like I can see I got my glass. I can see a few of them. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Well, that'll what's help here, a bro? lot. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Like next week when Lolly's got the full controls backstage, uh, she can just pull up comments and yeah. then we can we can address them as she pulls them up and yeah, it'll it'll be a a uh, work in process. Uh, hey, here's a quick comment about the soapstone. Uh, e e Eeyore here. I just want to say I love the flexibility. That's not a very good Eeyore. Do you got a good Eeyore? No. <laughs> Gosh, poo. <laughs> I wish. That's I funny. <laughs> the dude, ben, ben, uh, being a jovial person, you know, always been that way in my life and been around jovial people. 
<laughs> I used to be like, man, what is with Eeyore, man? <laughs> and Snuffleupagus. Like, yo, something is really wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like but, they're like, oh, they just they got these chill personalities. Right, right. And uh Winter Sora says he's got a good uh Eeyore, apparently. Well, I gotta tell you, th- he's one of these guys that we just brought in and knighted in, uh, has made it through the training process and everything, and he's part of the producer team. And he's got a very uh like laid back, uh yeah, slower paced demeanor. Chill. But he yeah, super chill and uh but he's having the time of his life. You know, and yeah. and uh, he's loving it. He's he's there. He's doing good things. So yeah, it's it's funny. Like people, like I'm I'm kind of the same way. If I hear somebody like that, it's like, oh man, what's wrong? And maybe the answer is nothing. This is just my cadence of talking. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I need to do something right quick. Hold up. Just... All right. Oh. <laughs> Cal says, uh, "Can you read this now? Now he can't for sure." <laughs> Since you said that, um, that he was knighted in. Yeah, and uh, since since everybody's starting to get a real life uh, example uh, or experience of the soapstone, I just figured we ought to do something. Um, you know, Aaron, you showed yourself as pretty faithful, uh, man. The way that you always push others to the stop to the spotlight, man. And I just want to say, um, congratulations, brother, for all that you're oh. doing. I just want to knight you in, brother. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now you uh, now have access to everything. Man, Soapstone, brother. I'm not gonna lie, that feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that man, that's that's a good feeling. Just yeah, to have brother. a moment of being recognized like that. That's cool. Thank you for that. Oh, you welcome. Thank you dude. for that. All that's right. So <laughs> Corbin says awesome. Yeah, that that was cool. That was cool. Uh, Sturminator, can we have a replica of the soapstone sword for sale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's funny. Actually, that's that was designed by uh, the John McClay, uh, who man, this guy, oh, oh he is amazing. such a great dude. Wow, I love yeah. working with him, I love watching his his talent go from, from a vision to just implemented. Oh. Dude, they Incredible. I saw that they were um so I just followed them on Instagram. I don't know why I haven't. And uh they were at it looks like a trade show and they gave away two the, octaves. Yeah. Was that a trade show? So that was uh th- that's a museum in Buffalo, and they've got a big uh a big piece of that museum is actually deals with uh virtual reality. Ah. So so they went out to do like a, a big VR display and presentation and and uh all that so yeah yeah that's that's where they were uh for that and then this week john is actually on vacation this is the first vacation that he's taken since he's uh since he was the founder of or since he he co-founded inspire create labs what's vacation (laughs) man Oh, uh, Mayhem's got some feedback here. Still his favorite weapon design in the metaverse. Uh, and if there's anybody that knows weapon design in the metaverse, it's Mayhem. <laughs> okay. Can we just pause since you said best weapon design and it just took me to design. Can we just say how amazing Inspire's New World is? Man. Oh, so- my goodness like and some of that stuff like you gotta you gotta spend a little bit of time in there to just like soak it up like so the reflection in the floor oh when you when you walk in there like it's reflection and there's a lot of places that have done reflections but when you look there's a robot floating around the robot's reflection is in there and then even more impressive than that to me is when you see the avatars, yeah. there's a reflection of the avatar underneath there. Like, yes. oh, the, the subtlety of that. Oh, it's Bro, beautiful. It's <laughs> absolutely amazing. I mean, just from the elevator, uh, the balcony, then going up to the top floor. Dude, I was blown away by that design. 
uh, being able to juggle the blocks. Dude, I was literally, there's a verse. <laughs> yeah. It talks about the Queen of Sheba, man. When she went after Solomon built the temple and his house, the Queen of Sheba went. And it's one of my favorite uh passages, man, just and talk about talking about creativity and doing things with excellence. It says when she looked at Solomon's palace and the way that his everything that his his servants were dressed. And the way that everything was designed, it says there was no more breath in her. <laughs> Dude, and I'm like, that's, I was blown away just by the design that inspired it with their, with their yeah. uh, headquarters, man. Absolutely amazing. And then, so you, you, you know, you, you see the new soapstone design and you're like, whoa, this is so many layers to it so awesome such a next level design then you go in the courtyard go to um inspire come back out and then you go to jason earl's productions and it's like now we're in the projects it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah i i know at the last in world when we were talking about uh hey, you're yeah. throwing some hints out there like hey may, maybe we need a little refresh here yeah yeah no well and it, yeah it's it, it's awfully special in there as well but maybe we can carry on like so in the soapstone world headquarters that's now the um supporters place you know exclusively for them it's got that same kind of city feel maybe we can do something in jason earl's productions and and pull in that same cityscape and um and all that although you kind of you really already have the cityscape it's just a slightly different uh yeah, city yeah. from back behind the stage and it, yeah, yeah it, it don't run yeah i'm just i was saying that a joke but man really the highlight how good the soapstone and inspire. I mean, man, y'all, y'all crushed it, bro. Absolutely crushed it. Indeed. Uh, three cheers for inspire three cheers for ACE, the bass who played a huge Let's go, role Ace, in that. The yeah. Freaking bass. Yeah. And then so it good. was, uh, first of all, can, cool. can we just yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to cut you off. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it, it's so cool too, um, like the role that each of us play. Like, like for me, like I came in when we had nothing, um, you know, when it's a blank world. And I, I said, okay, this is what we want. We want a three tiered uh, stage uh, experience. You know, yeah. we want, we want it to be in the city. You know, we yeah. want, uh, we want to pull the supporters lounge out of the world and make a separate world for supporters so we can free up that capacity, right. you know, and, and kind of talking through some of that stuff. And then to, and then to watch it come together and just everybody in their, in their, in their spot of talent and ability and seeing what comes out of it. Whew, whew, it's been great. <laughs> so good. brother. Hey, uh, question. Yeah. Uh, I already know the answer to this suspenders. <laughs> oh you froze oh there you go <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i got i was gonna do the full-on uh yeah. mardi gras flash again yeah. but, but we got too many complaint too, yeah too many <laughs> complaint letters like they were <laughs> last hey, so, yes man. indeed i got suspenders I'm, I'm gonna be rocking them again like how it's getting a little bit warmer out and i'm looking ahead to spring and summer and i'm thinking man there's a lot of days i don't want to be doubled up on Shirts. I'm not gonna be wearing suspenders with shorts. I'm sorry. That's just that's over yeah. the line. <laughs> it all depends on how they look. Yeah. But dude, one of my favorite. So this past in world show, in the world metaverse show, dude, uh, man, just having Ace the Bass and Solaris on stage was great. Always fun. Uh, so many funny moments there. But man. When Ace the Bass quoted a verse, I was like, ah, oh, that was, that's the highlight. That's my top number one well metaverse moment of all times. That that was great. That was great. And, and part of the benefit of Ace's, um, you know, kind of 
like a little bit withdrawn, but observing nature is when he yeah. does say, Hey, I need the spotlight for a minute to say something, you know, right. it's going to be good. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mayhem is uh he's a supporter of ACE the base for president. <laughs> Mayhem. So good yeah. to see like, it's like, man, watching the metaverse and where everybody is now, it's like seeing these all-star rookies in like the second or third year playing in their professional sport. It's like, wow, these talented cats just well, I, are at yeah. a whole nother level. You know, I'm like, I think about it like, you know, when you look at, you know, the tech titans, you know, like, um, and when they were coming up, you know, with with Bill Gates and, you know, like there the whole group of these the people that ultimately become the best in the world at it. They all knew each other. Yeah. It was a small ecosystem when it was yeah. started. And I mean, they were just interacting just like normal people. And like right. and uh, or you look at like musicians like Johnny Cash and the whole group of people that all kind of hung around together and all came up to be uh you know great musicians like I, that, I that's what's happening in the metaverse right now yeah there's there's people that are just kicking it uh together that in in time here uh the, they'll be the founders they'll be the creators they'll be the ones that that laid the foundation for all of it right so good yeah so good brother so good yeah yeah so that we know what's coming up on Friday, on on Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, our friend Lolly D, actually Lolly D, can we bring you back out and have you tell us what's Lally happening on your D. show tomorrow? Lally All right, D. I'll just interpret that as a yes. <laughs> there we go. Tomorrow on uh, Good Morning Soapstone, we're gonna have Aaron and uh, <laughs> members of the Inspire team, and hopefully Ace. I hope Ace is there because he uh, contributes so much and uh, he's awesome. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's going to be a fun one. We're just going to have a good time and drill you and and uh, give you guys a hard time. It'll be fun. That's uh, Trainer Cal and I's specialty is to just get in there and ask questions. So it'll be fun. Indeed. Well, I, I look forward to that uh, for sure. So. <laughs> Me too. It's going to be a good time. Good show. Yeah, Notice yeah, how, yeah. Notice how all three of us have glasses. That's pretty amazing. I know. Like, I just yeah. remind for looks, though. Oh, that's great. Oh, I, I don't know if I believe you on that. That's I know. That's <laughs> when you start doing like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, so um, my wife and I uh, just got snorkel gear uh, and we ordered prescription glasses, which are prescription snorkel masks, oh. which are actually, uh, you know, much more. Um, they're much more economical that you could think. I think for a mask, it was like 80 bucks for a prescription snorkel mask. Uh, so we ordered these and we were talking about snorkeling and, you know, what's going to happen if we get out on the beach, take our glasses off, put our mask out, go snorkeling and come back and our glasses are gone. <laughs> this is uh, snorkel on all the time? Yeah, for the yeah. rest of the trip, we'll just have That's that snorkel great. on. <laughs> hey, do great. you guys have? Do you have the prescription lenses in your goggles? Did you do that? So I used to when I had the the Quest Two. Um, I had the prescription lenses, and they were great. I mean, I, I would recommend them ten out of ten. And again, there pretty economical like like 65 bucks or something in that range so it's not uh not like getting glasses where you know where it's just You're not buying frames exactly exactly you know so um so that i highly would recommend that with the pro it's not necessary because um there's enough room that you can very comfortably there wear your glasses know. underneath it um but with the quest 2 I'd, i i i wouldn't not have it do you need suspenders for the uh, Quest 2? So pro? that's the other thing. You know, this is if the glasses get stolen, I'm going to look kind of funny, I think, because I'm going to be like, you know, walking into a restaurant, you know, with the goggles on. And I, if I'm wearing the goggles, I'm going to have to have the snorkel gear and the flip flops on, you know, and <laughs> and then I'll have the, the Speedo and the suspenders holding that up. 
Like it's right. it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> we'll just think tourists. It'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Midwest tourist. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that that there's a Michigan boy. <laughs> you <know>. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Oh That's man. Great. Good stuff. So we uh so Jason, you're heading out um uh, uh for shows and, and things this, this weekend. Yeah. And That's I gotta cool. get ready to hop on a video conference. So, um, all right. Yeah. I, 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 I hate to have to leave y'all, but, uh, man, I love you guys. You know I what? Out with I, you guys. I, I think we, I think we've done what we need to do here today. <laughs> good. Cause I gotta go oh. change my uniform and do the other thing. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Sounds good. Let's so go. everybody watching, thank you so much, uh, for being a part of this. This has been great. Sturm says it the best. Bye. Bye. <laughs>